Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, and today I'm going to talk about artificial turf lawns for dogs. That's right, those four-legged companions that need to just run and jump and do all kinds of fun stuff out in the backyard. But one of the problems we have is those dogs, they can make a mess of the lawn with their peeing and their pooping and all this stuff. So it kind of wrecks the lawn to a small degree. But the other issue, of course, we have here in Southern California is water is getting very expensive with water rates expected to climb another 10%. And we're in the middle of a tough drought. So one of the things that I always recommend to folks that are doing a backyard with a lawn for dog is to consider putting in some artificial artificial turf. The reason being is that over the course of say five or six years that artificial turf lawn will about break even with a regular lawn there as you can see in that little graphic basically an artificial turf lawn will cost about nine to ten dollars a square foot but it costs a dollar a square foot just to water and maintain a lawn so it can be a lot of money and maintenance costs and that's why you ought to consider an artificial turf lawn if you're looking at something for more than seven or eight years. And the other great thing about artificial turf is that you can do a wide range of designs. As you see all these yards I've done where we kind of have some curving patios to kind of complement it and really add some nice features to the backyard as well. What you can do with artificial turf, it's very tough to do this with regular grass because you get all these nooks and crannies that don't get irrigated well. So the thing about artificial turf that all people always ask me about is like, well, does it get too hot? And I say it's not as hot as it used to be. In the bad old days of artificial turf, you'd have those black rubber pellets that really got hot. But now they have this odor absorbing white infill, as you're about to see in the second part of this video. The other thing to consider for artificial turf lawn that's really important is you want to get a good quality turf, something that's in the at least 70 to 80 weight range that has that nice thick multicolored thatch. It really adds a lot of realism and holds up well under duress of dogs and everything else. So how are artificial turf lawns built? Well, the thing you have to realize is it takes about six inches to go down to really get all that material out because then they build it back up. So you go down six inches, then you add this compacted road base to add really good drainage because you need to have good drainage so the pee and the poop smell don't just sit there on the lawn. After you've gotten that drainage um, road base installed, then you want to add that leveling sand to give a nice perfect level for the turf. And then it comes time for the big moment. It's time to roll that baby out and trim it. And then the guys, well, as you saw and see in this video right here, they start trimming. But it's a really important that you nail down one side before you start trimming. It's the old measure twice, cut once. And so once it gets trimmed out, then they get this lovely little device. It looks like something out of a torture horror movie. Um, but it's called a, a turf stretcher. And basically, they use this to stretch that turf tight before they nail down that final round of nails to get the lawn nice and tight and seemed really nice with these big nails. And then the part that I mentioned before, the odorizer, and that's really, really important. If you're doing a dog lawn, it is very important that you put that pet deodorizer into the turf lawn. It gets hand broadcast and then they use what's called a power broom. I know that is as cool as it sounds. And this thing just grinds it all in. It does three things. It really puts in that deodorizer really, really heavily. And you want to read the package to make sure you're using enough to you know, get a proper install on that. It does three things. It first acts as kind of kitty liver in that it helps absorb the odors of the dog in, uh, in your backyard. It also acts as kind of it holds the grass in an upright position and that really you know make, gives it a more realistic feel and finally it keeps the grass from getting too matted so it really is helps it for long-term maintenance now the important thing to realize with artificial turf lawns and that deodorizer infill is that you do need to reinstall it about every five years it's uh, the one bit of maintenance that artificial turf lawn requires um, there are companies now that do the artificial turf lawn maintenance but do realize that is one thing you have to do you don't have to water it you don't have to feed it you don't have to do anything but every five years you have to reinstall that infill and then after you're done you want to blow it all out and wash it all down before you 
turn loose the pooches on it. Well, that's it. So that's one of the reasons why I always recommend artificial turf lawns for doggy backyards uh, because it's a lot less maintenance and a lot less water, especially if it's something you're going to have for more than five years. It's always really kind of nice to consider long-term maintenance issues like that. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I want to say thank you so much to uh, Unique Landscaping for their help in making this video and also make sure to hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to get more of my garden videos until next time this is doug the two minute gardener saying thanks for watching